Hiya. Okay, so we're still on Key Area 6. This is video 2 of the structure and function of the heart, and we're going to be focusing on the cardiac cycle. Now, disclaimer, before we start this video, there is a word, no, there's two words in this, that the pronunciation of this, we have heard every single one of them. So, to make it a sort of a fair process, I am going to be pronouncing these words one way. Uh, so, I'm going to be saying systole and diastole, and Miss Armstrong is going to be saying systole and diastole. Because, yes, <laughs> because reasons. Uh, so the cardiac cycle, every heartbeat, every full heartbeat is called a cardiac cycle. Uh, so we're talking from when the heart squeezes and relaxes, that is one full heartbeat. Okay, uh, it's the process by which the four chambers of the heart will fill and then empty of blood. And it's a specific sequence of events. What we find with people who are having heart attacks or heart problems, they have lost that rhythm. Okay, and because they've lost that rhythm, blood stops getting pumped effectively. And that's when that person gets symptoms of heart pain, like um, weakness, dizzy, uh, chest pain, that kind of thing. Okay, so the words that we are going to pronounce differently, systole and diastole. So there are three main phases of the cardiac cycle. There is atrial systole. I just said systole and I'm supposed to say systole. Mm -hmm. Atrial systole, ventricle, ventricular systole and diastole. So they are the three phases. All three of them must occur once for that to be one cardiac cycle. So it goes atrial systole, ventricle systole, diastole. That is one heartbeat. That is the blood going from one end of the heart out through the other. So one cardiac cycle. Exam question that appears about this is usually these three things are put into a table showing how long each one takes. So atrial systole takes 0.1 second, ventricular takes 0.2 and diastole takes, I don't know, 0.4. And they ask you, what's the heart rate of this individual? So you add up all of the three phases. That's one heartbeat. And then you know how long one heartbeat takes. You should be able to work out how many heartbeats in 60 seconds. So atrial systole, I'm going to try and remember to say it this way each time. Uh, so atrial systole, what it is, is the atria contracting. That's what that means. So the atria squeeze, they squeeze blood through the AV valves, so through the atrial ventricular valves into the ventricles. A ventricular systole is when both ventricles contract to squeeze the blood through the pulmonary artery and the aorta. So again, depending on if it's the left or right, but again, it basically just means the ventricles now squeeze the blood through even more. Okay, so try and remember that, yeah, systole, squeeze. Diastole, okay, is the relaxation of the heart. So all the chambers relax, they stop contracting, and they all start to fill with blood at the same time. During this phase, the atrioventricular valves are also open. So the idea is all four chambers can fill. Okay, so preventing the backflow of blood, those wonderful things we've talked about so much, is the valves. So the valves prevent that backflow of blood. So it prevents any, uh, any of the blood going back to the previous chamber during ventricular systole or, di or diastole. Now, you need to know which valves are open and shut during which phases. Common exam question is, state the valves that will be open or closed during atrial systole or ventricular systole or diastole. So here is what valves are open or shut. They make a bit of sense. If you think blood has got to get from the atrium to the ventricle, the AV valve is gonna be open, but during this stage, the semilunar valve, this SL valve is gonna be closed. Uh, if you're thinking about the ventricular systole, so the one where the, it's going from the ventricle uh, and then out of the heart, depending on what side it's on, the AV valve is going to be closed because you don't want it going back into the atrium. The SL valves, so the semilunar valves, are going to be open because you want it to go into whatever artery it needs to go to to go out of the heart. Okay, and during diastole, you want basically the blood to start filling from the veins into the heart. So the semilunar valves are going to be shut to stop that backflow from the arteries because we just spent a lot of energy shoving that blood out of the heart. But the idea is the veins are going to fill the heart, but the AV valves are going to be open during that phase to allow for the four chambers to fill. Okay, so to summarize, we've got atrial systole, the atria contract, blood is going to be pushed to the ventricles, the AV valves are going to be open. Okay, ventricular systole is when the ventricles both contract, blood is pushed out of the arteries, the AV valves are shut and the SL valves are open. And then diastole, the heart relaxes, fills with blood from the veins, the semilunar valves will be closed, the atrial ventricular valves will be open. And that is the end of cardiac cycle, relatively painless. Uh, the next stage, I hope, is about electrical Electric. activity of the heart. Uh, so we will still be using these terms, systole and diastole, uh, diastole. diastole, there we go, uh, to try and, because we don't know how these are pronounced properly.